Good morning and happy Sunday. I find myself always vlogging on Sundays <laughs> because I feel like this is a day that I always get a ton of stuff done to prepare for the week. So I feel like it's a good vlogging day, you know? It's kind of interesting. Anyways, happy Sunday. I have a few things planned for today. So let's go ahead and show you guys a day in my life. Let's get started. This love of mine Cups and with me now, baby so it is now 10 26 and I've already showered <laughs> I already blue dried my hair did my makeup and put on a lazy Sunday outfit so the next thing we're going to do is style my hair I just kind of feel like doing my hair today as well as I've noticed whenever I style my hair it actually lasts longer I feel like it just like seals it in sets my hair and I can wear it for a few days longer than if I wear my naturally curly hair so today we're gonna be styling my hair using the new T3 Lucea and this uses T3's new technology heat ID so I can actually put in my personal settings and it creates my own heat ID number so it's a heat that's oh I just turned it on <laughs> so it's a heat that's specifically created for my hair so I obviously turned it on you guys heard that so my heat ID is already in there because I've used it for the last couple of weeks and now it's just heating up so we'll let this heat up and do a quick Sunday hairstyle I'm thinking a half ponytail, and I'm just going to use a big scrunchie. I was actually pretty nervous when I moved to Hawaii about styling my hair because I thought um, I would never be able to, but the humidity this summer isn't that bad, and I'm actually surprised how long my hair lasts. I feel like this new technology from T3 has like really been helping. Ooh, I just heard it ding, it is ready. So I'm just going to spray in some heat protectant. So obviously this is my before, you guys know my hair. It is frizzy, it gets big when I blow dry it because of my natural wave and texture. So I'm gonna show you guys how quickly this iron takes out all my frizz and creates like a nice healthy shine. I love that the heat ID creates my own heat number so I know that my hair isn't getting damaged, it's protected. And look how quick that smooths, like, what? I think the biggest difference for me besides the heat ID technology is the ceramic plates that T3 used in this iron. I've noticed a huge difference. It literally like glides through my hair and I feel like it just smooths out my hair way better than any other iron that I've used in the past. Big difference with the ceramic plates. And I'm somebody who is so particular with my hair and the tools that I use on it and this does wonders. So you guys obviously can tell I'm in love with this tool. I've talked about it so much already. So I'm gonna quickly just finish straightening the rest of my hair and then show you guys how I style it. Look at that difference. Straight, frizzy. Straight and smooth and shiny, frizzy. <laughs> Wow, my hair straightened so well today. Okay, but I still wanna do a half up. I'm just gonna spray a little texturizing spray in here. I feel like my hair is too clean right now. Last few times I've curled my hair. I haven't straightened my hair in a minute, so I forgot. <laughs> so let's put this up in a half ponytail. So it is Sunday, so I just want this to be a really easy, relaxed look, but it is so hot outside. So I do want some of my hair up. So I'm using a normal elastic first, so that way it's tight enough to stay. I feel like an oversized scrunchie makes it look like you put so much more effort in. And now that my hair is up, I'm just gonna make sure everything around the base of the half pony is straightened. Get out any of those little bumps. And I, my friends, am now ready for my Sunday errands. <laughs> this tool by T3 made it so simple, and of course I have a little code for you guys. You guys know I've been working with T3 for quite some time now, so I will have the tool down in the description, as well as a code, as well as a link that you can actually go figure out your own heat ID. Yeah, it's just a fun little quiz that you can take, so you can see what heat ID you are. All right, now that we're ready, let's continue our day. 
So this is my little Sunday outfit. You guys obviously saw me do my hair and look how long it's getting. Um, then I just have this oversized button down shirt from Zara, these A Goldie jeans that are like my absolute favorite. And this is my Sunday get stuff done outfit. Before I run some errands, I should eat some food and I feel like a piece of toast. So I'm just gonna throw in a piece of sourdough and have myself a little breakfast. Topped with a little butter and fig jam. One happy girl. You don't know this about me, fig jam is my absolute favorite. Great combo. It's a spot to hear Ollie. Wanna try? Ollie likes it too. Hooey, it is hot today. It is 91 and some humidity, so. Whew. The first thing on my list of errands for the Sunday is to head to Lowe's. I was there earlier this week and they had some really cool like half wine barrel like planters i know you've seen them um and i was wanting to paint the wood part of them white for our front yard because we got a pomegranate tree and a fig tree this week and we need to plant them in something now the front of the house isn't fully landscaped so i didn't want to get something like too expensive or like too stylized because i didn't know exactly what we want to do out there so these wine barrels are perfect and great price to grow these trees in while we do the front yard so um, off to Lowe's we go. I just got done at Lowe's. We just loaded the car. Um, I got two of the barrels as well as I found blueberry plants, uh, which is, or bushes, I guess. I don't know, um, which is pretty exciting. So I might add, well, I'm adding that to the garden. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, good time at Lowe's. Now off to Target. So I'm home from running errands. I can't even tell you how hot it is today. As soon as I got in, I like stripped off of my um, oversized button down because I was like, <sighs> anyways, just unloaded the car and got home from Lowe's and Target. And I always stock up on snacks for Sawyer at Target because you know, they have all the, all the goodies. So we got some Chewy Bars. We grabbed some, okay, these are for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I love Cheerios and they're gluten free, which I just found out, which is kind of cool. So I have the Honey Nut Cheerios and then I grabbed the Apple ones. It's like my night snack. I love me some cereal. I grabbed some sliced cheese, some croutons, some Caesar dressing. I'm a big fan of the Primal Kitchen dressings and sauces because there's no sugar added. And um, I have to be careful of my sugar intake for some like health things so I love that there's no sugar added and it's super low in sugar so I always stick to Primal Kitchen when it comes to sauces. Sawyer loves the Mama Chia um, kombuchas and it has like the chia seeds in it but I just found these chia seed like squeeze packs. They're honestly so cute. They I think are meant more so for like kids like applesauce but he loves them. So I got him the strawberry lemonade flavor. And then I grabbed this little oil bottle for like my cooking oil. I've been using coconut oil, so I thought it'd be much easier than trying to pour it out of the jar. In my last vlog, you guys probably saw I got new plates. So I was very excited about that. So I'll show you like the complete set because in the last vlog, a set didn't match and I figured it out. So <laughs> I also found these deep dish plates and I got a set of these, so these are a new addition. So I'll show you guys what I came up with as far as plates here in a second. Um, but now I'm gonna put all this away. So for lunch, I'm just gonna order sandwiches because they deliver so quick here. <laughs> and I don't feel like cooking. Hi, yes, can I order for delivery, please? Can I do two Goodfellas? And then I'm gonna do a Farmer's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Seriously, sandwiches will be here in like three minutes, like faster than what I could actually make. <laughs> so anyways, that's gonna be lunch. Um, it is Sunday and you guys know that every Sunday I make the bed. I guess I shouldn't say make the bed. I actually like wash all the sheets and start fresh. I love starting Sunday clean and ready for the week. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna make our bed. Right when I was about to make the bed, sandwiches arrived, I'm telling you, like three, four minutes. One two, three. Let me bring Sawyer his and then we will continue with, well, I guess my Sunday, our Sunday. You get it. <laughs> And 
once again, the bed is made on a Sunday. Seriously, I said this time and time again, but nothing is better than crawling in to fresh sheets on a Sunday night. Oh, I'm excited for that. <laughs> Yay, that is now off of our to-do list. Now I'm going to show you guys all the new plates and like dishware that I got from Target. Let me show you. Okay, we are back in the kitchen and, oh, kind of off-center. Let me hold up better. Okay, and I want to show you guys the finished dishware that I got. So in the last vlog, I got new white plates and there were different colors, different sizes. It was a whole thing. So I went back to Target, got another set, got a set that matches. Woohoo! I will obviously link the new dishware that I got. I'm pretty sure it's the Avesta stoneware set from Project 62, and a set of four with like bowls, an appetizer plate, and a dinner plate was $20, so I felt like it was a really good deal. So this is the set I got. It is just a white stoneware set, very simple. Um, I originally had a gray and pink set, and I loved it, but I'm definitely going for more of like a black and white theme in the kitchen. It's very obvious and I wanna keep it that way. So I switched out the dishware so that way it would match. So this is the set. And then in the same style, the Avesta, they sell this dish separate, but it's called a dinner bowl, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. So it's basically the size of the dinner plate, but it has a lip on it. And I serve a lot of like rice dishes or pasta dishes, and nothing is worse than when it doesn't fit into the bowl and it's like too small, or when you have it on the dinner plate and it like all falls off and you're like chasing around. You know what I mean? It's just not fun. So, anyways, I thought this was a great dish to have. And this comes in many different colors, not just white. So, head to Target and see about like the raised dinner plate. Highly recommend. So I have eight of these. So I have a full set of eight in the white. And then to continue with the black and white theme, in the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, they have the black stoneware collection. And this is nothing new. This has been at Target for a while. And I thought this would be so cute because I can intermix it and layer it with the black and white if I would like that look. Or I just have extra black dishes for when I'm serving. I can mix the black and white as well. Like if I'm setting the table, I can do like a white plate with like a mini black bowl, or I can do this black plate with like a bowl on top. Or if I'm setting the table with like a white napkin, let me grab a white napkin. And then a white napkin. See how cute the black and white, and it just makes it look so crisp and clean. So those are the new dishes. I will link everything that I got down below. And I just love that I can mix and match the black and white, but I do have a full set of white and everything, and then just a few accent pieces in the black, and I just think it looks really nice. So I'm excited to like set the table for Thanksgiving. I know that's like a little bit a ways, but uh, I think it'll look really nice and crisp to commit to that. So anyways, oh, oh, and this is perfect because for Christmas, yes, this is like so in the future, <laughs> not really. It's coming up quick. Um, <laughs> but for Christmas, I incorporated a lot of the black and white, like, buffalo plaid. And so this will match perfectly the napkins and the decor that I have. So excited for that. Looking forward to the holidays. Crazy. So the last chore that I have to do this Sunday is clean up the backyard. We've been doing a lot of renovations and fixing up certain things. So it's really messy. So I'm gonna take a second and just clean it up. So I put on a t-shirt, put my hair up in a ponytail, and since it's a little cooler outside, I'm gonna spend some time in the backyard. It's funny, since we've built the garden, I've spent so much time in the backyard. I think the dogs and I are out here like at least three to four hours a day doing something, some project. So yeah, I really like it out here. It's like my little, my little uh, hobby, backyard and gardening. <laughs> okay, I know that didn't seem like a lot, but wow, the backyard looks so much better. Our avocado tree has been dropping so many leaves and I just need to like pick up the backyards. I feel better now. <laughs> so I just spent about an hour outside
enjoyed cleaning up the backyard. It looks so much better and it's come so far. Uh, we're gonna be- It looks so good. <laughs> we're gonna be sharing with you like a little landscaping video as well as some more garden videos, which is why I didn't like fully show you the backyard because yeah, it's not done yet. Anyways, um, let's cook some dinner. So tonight's dinner is going to be hatch chili and cheddar smoked chicken sausage. I got these from Costco, so I'm just gonna throw these on the grill. And then I'm gonna also throw some peppers and onions on the grill and grill those. And then I have some leftover potato salad from yesterday and it was really yummy. So pretty simple, let's just cut this up and get cooking some dinner. So for the veggies, I am just going to drizzle them in olive oil, throw on some black pepper and a little garlic, and then, where is it? I have this cool little dish that you can use on the grill, so I'm gonna try that out tonight. So that way the veggies don't fall through the um, grill. Okay, so we are out at the grill, and it is hot. Very, very hot. So let's throw these on. Now we let it cook. That's my favorite thing about a grill. <laughs> oh yeah, those look done. Mm. Oh yeah, those are great. If those are at your Costco. Wow, okay. I'm gonna wait for those veggies to be done. And this meal is better than I expected. <laughs> This is our Sunday dinner. We have some peppers, potato salad, as well as some chicken sausage, and then I just mixed up a little sauce. It looks so freaking good. So loves, that wraps up a day in my life. Definitely an average day. Um, I'm always running errands. I'm always cooking and just doing things around the house. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what a day in my life looks like and don't forget to check out T3 I do have that link and a discount code down there So you can check out that link and find your own heat ID, which is very very fascinating So try that out and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already I talk about fashion beauty and our life here in Hawaii and I end up vlogging almost every week So if you want to see what our life is like go ahead and hit subscribe um, But that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always I'll see you guys in the next one Bye. Mm, I made it with some mustard, garlic, and you want some?